Yo, 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 what is up everybody, Popo here, bringing guys a new video, and today we're going to be taking Iron Leaves and Hisui and Gujar on the official Regulation F ladder. Let's go. Welcome everybody, and today we're going to be looking at the Iron Leaves team that I've been working on recently. I'm really enjoying this team. I'm undefeated on ladder going into this video, so we'll see where that takes us. But if you do want to try out the team, we do have the rental code down below, uh, as well as the pokey paste that will be uh, down in the description. So uh, try it out for yourself. Uh, I mean, like I said, I, I'm undefeated. I got to top 500, which is super impressive. Uh, I didn't push further, but I did get there. Uh, I don't believe I'm going to be there going into these battles because I haven't played in two days, so who knows, but um, uh, I, I doubt it. Um, but yeah, this team is amazing. There's a lot of synergy and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, there's a couple of changes I do want to make and there's a couple of variations that we can use, but uh, this is the one I'm with right now. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Let's just, let's just get right into the team, boys. Let's get right into the team. All right, so our first member is, of course, Iron Leaves. This uh, Pokemon is our main support. It's Steel Terra, Booster Energy, Cork Drive. We'll get into why Booster Energy, Cork Drive is important with these EVs, but we'll go to the moves first. Quick Guard, that's going to stop Fake Outs from happening. That's going to allow you to get Shelters up. Taunts can't happen if they are, like, Tornadus or they're Whimsicott, something like that. This just completely stops that. They, like, Encore on their their uh, Pranksterman? Not anymore. Uh, we got Leaf Blade, which is just going to do enough damage that it needs to do. Coaching, that's going to be the main thing that you're going to click because it's just going to give boosts to your two main attacking Pokemon. And then, of course, Ally Switch, that's going to keep our Pokemon alive. Uh, we got 252 HP. We got 4 attack, which doesn't do anything, I don't believe, but we, we had 4, so whatever. Um, <laughs> 172 defense, 68 special defense, and 12 speed we'll get to that one in a second that 12 speed so this thing is bulky enough to live almost any hit like singular hit which is really really good if you steal terror you pretty much live anything except like a crit from entei or something so this pokemon is very very bulky and i think pe a lot of people are using it as an attacker and that's just wrong this is what you want to be doing with iron leaves i was the biggest iron leaves hater so um, the fact that I really like Iron Leaves is crazy to me. But it's just that I think he's the best coaching Pokemon. He's the only non-fighting type that actually gets coaching. So it gives him a little bit something different and gives that grass type that can be good into Urshifu. Um, and you can, you know, ally switch and take a surging strike. So um, really good in that. But there's a little quirk about, <laughs> about Iron Leaves. And that's if you are not timid, which yes, we have Leaf Blade, but if you are not timid, then you cannot run Booster Energy Speed. And you want to run Booster Energy Speed because he goes to 207 with 12 EVs. 207, that's going to allow him to outspeed Fluttermane if Fluttermane doesn't have Booster. So uh, he's just faster than Fluttermane. That'll allow you to get coachings off. You can Terrify or Annihilate and one-shot Fluttermanes with the Rage Fist. As to where it would be a two shot and that's if they fairy terra of course then um so yeah so that's what you want to do and he's just gonna live hits he's gonna be bulky he's gonna do a lot of things so uh he he's really really good <laughs> he's really really good and um yeah going with the minus attack allows you to not have to invest in speed because or else you would have to invest a lot of this bulk into speed so this is just optimizing the way that you're getting that booster energy onto this pokemon so um, because he goes to 151 attack, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and that's with just neutral. Um, but yeah, so Iron Leaves. And the Pokemon you're mainly going to use Iron Leaves with is Gudra. You can, you're going to use it with Nihilate too, but more so Gudra. So this is going to be the Fairy Terra leftover Shell Armor, of course. 252, uh, 48 attack, and I'll get into that in a second. Uh, 196, 4 and 4 um that gives us four i think uh this is this is wrong okay that was wrong it's because i had to do it at a higher level because i forgot what my evs were so um yeah so th this is the spread here uh we're just gonna max hp of course you want to be as bulky as you can a lot of defense he's already very special defensive and we go careful and we go the one speed that just is going to allow us to outspeed other gudras if we get into that situation 
Um, it's fine. You you could take this away and, you know, a little bit from what, whatever. You could put more in special defense if you really want to. But the reason why we have so much attack is so this thing can one-shot Flutter Mains um, if, if we are neutral. Like 100% of the time, this is going to one-shot Heavy Slam Flutter Mains. With our coaching, we're going to get bu uh, buffs to this. So it's going to make our Heavy Slams do a lot of damage. So as, as we get plus one, plus two, plus three... You know, this this is going up, up, up. So we're just going to be super damaged on both ends, on body press and heavy slam. And we could just hit everything, ghost types, everything. So um, that's why that's why we have it. Uh, and it just gives us that little bit more reach. But Gudra, very good. <laughs> uh, next is our, like, big attacker, something we can end the game with. And that's going to be Landorus. He just does a ton of damage. We are timid. You could be modest, but we don't. We have speed control, but I never use it. And uh, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Sand Seer, and Protect. So it's just basic. It's just the, the basic set. So nothing too special about this. Poison Terror, of course, Life Orb. Um, yeah. And this is the Pokemon I use the absolute least. And that's going to be Latias. I thought I was going to use it a lot more because it is good into the Landorus. Is, uh, we got the Poison Terror, Rocky Helmet. Of course, Levitate. I forgot to put this back to level 50, so don't mind me. Um... And I saw this set online, 252, 188. This is just going to allow it to outspeed Urshifu. And then 4-4 four, four, and 60. So we can take the Surging Strikes and hit back with the Rocky Helmet. I, I believe it's the Survive Surging Strikes plus Bleak Wind Storm is, is why it's uh, specced out like this. And we got Mist Ball Tailwind, Heal Pulse. Instead of Recover, we have Heal Pulse and Ice Beam. Like I said, this is just to kind of counter Landorus Eye. Also counter Landorus T, just by chance <laughs> um because it's I, I believe it's faster right uh, it's faster so it just it just does better than that and it's it's faster than uh timid version of this too so um yeah it's just a counter to that that's it and uh i just never bring it i i just really don't feel like i ever need it all right our next pokemon is gonna be mouse hold we're gonna skip one ghost tear of course focus ash friend guard 252 252 timid we're timid, it's important, and four defense. Mine has four, but you can go for a zero if you have one. Um, it's it's one attack. <laughs> um, I caught one with a mark, so I, I wanted to use the mark one, and it had a four. Um, but we got protect, super fang, beat up, and follow me. Of course, this is going to be our main uh, Pokemon and that we're going to bring with Annihilate. Uh, and you can also bring it with Gudra because you do have that follow me. Also, Super Fang is really good as it just halves the HP of uh, opposing Pokemon. This is really good into Don Dozo, which is super popular right now. So you, you can do something like the Super Fang, Bulk Up, um, or you can go Super Fang, you know, just go for the Rage Fist. And if they hit you, then you're getting a boost because Unaware doesn't affect the boost that you get from Rage Fist. So there's a lot of things you can do with the combination of these two and just do a lot of damage to something like Don Dozo and set it up for uh, for knockouts on the next turn with like Follow Me plus Rage Fist. So, um, of course, Mouse Ape is fantastic. It's, it's really good. And there's a variation of this team that I had at first uh, that I'll talk about in a second that you can also run. Uh, we have uh, Annihilate Fire Terror, of course. Citrus Berry, because we have the leftovers on Gudra. I do like leftovers more, but Gudra, I feel like, can utilize it better. Uh, Defiant, uh, 180, 36 plus, 108, 172, and 12. I've been using this one forever. I really like this set. I don't feel like it needs to be any different, even with all the new stuff. It still just does a ton of damage when you have the Rage Fists off. You get bulk ups. And, of course, now you get those coachings, too. So, on a single turn, you can go for the bulk up and the coaching. If you think that some they're going to have a more passive turn, you're just getting plus two attack, plus two defense. You're setting up your drain punches, your rage fists. Then, um, then you have, you know, the ally switch. Whereas, you know, before you would just be like, okay, I have to protect or I have to follow me. Now you have ally switch. You're switching positions. You're taking the attack that this would have taken. Maybe, you know, you're, you're going to take um, like a sucker punch or, or something like that. That's not going to be super effective. Or a fire attack if you tear a fire. And now you're just getting more boost to your Rage Fist. So that's a really good combination between those two. And you're just doing a ton of damage back, like I said, with the Rage Fist. On the Gudra side with the Iron Leaves, though, what's really cool is that they don't share any weaknesses. So uh, when you do Ally Switch, you know Gudra's going to be fine because 
if if they go sacred sword into iron leaves you don't even have to terra because you can ally switch the the sacred sword goes into here um also spore so you can you can dodge spores by using that ally switch especially on ladder though this does work in best of threes as well open team sheets because uh i know because i've done it <laughs> um but yeah you, you can do that ally switch and then you can get um you know your shelter off or your attack off or whatever same with annihilate you can just prevent it from being spored because uh we don't have anything that has goggles on you could run goggles on mouse hold or you could run the grass terra i just think the set is a lot better and it's a lot more consistent so i i would suggest running this set but i mean to each their own as well um because with Ghost, it makes both of your Pokemon immune to Fake Out. And with Iron Leaves in this, you're also immune to Fake Out. Um, so there's just a lot more range. But another set that you can run on here instead of Gudra is that you could run Archaludon with Body Press. And you can use Beat Up onto Archaludon and Body Press, of course, to just do massive amounts of damage. So um there is a different set that you can run because it still works with the coaching and stuff like that but you also have a special attacker on the side uh you kind of lose the heavy slam because he's not very heavy so you do lose that but instead of that you get flash cannon or you can go with something else uh, iron head i think he learns too if you want to go physical because you're going with the coaching but that's that's another route that you can go with the team um i want to take Latius off so if, you, if you're gonna try out this team on showdown you take any of these pokemon out or latius out let me know what you're putting in for it because uh because i want to try it but without further ado let's get into some battles all right we found our first battle here so yeah i've been i've been working on this team like changing it around um it's pretty decent though I, i'm really enjoying it uh it just beats some some like teams it just wins like this is probably a pretty decent team uh for us to face because we can go for Iron Leaves plus Gudra here. Um, and it just kind of does a lot. Uh, I want to change the Latias. I think I'm going to change this to Entei. I'm just not fully committed yet. <laughs> uh, I just never bring it. So I just feel like it's not doing anything. And, uh... Yeah. Uh... I'm not sure what to do here. I'm going to go mouse holds in the back. That'll help us uh, not take as much damage from stuff, which will be good. What's really good is that, you know, using coaching also gives a boost to the attack of, uh, of the Gudra, which then makes Heavy Slam do more damage. So even if you get intimidated, you can still kill something like Fluttermane with the Heavy Slam. So... It's, uh, it's pretty good. And since we are spec to outspeed it, uh, that is decent as well. Uh, I don't think we need Fairy Terra here. So we might be able to just steal Terra. Um, let's see, though. I'm not going to yet. Uh, I don't really like this because uh, we're going to get faked out. I think we quick guard actually and I think we do this. And we just shelter. This is going to mean we can't be faked out um, if he goes for close combat which is more likely than Brave Bird here. Then we just we just kind of eat it and then he gets that minus to his attack i don't know how much heavy slam does to galarian zapdos um it might be decent amount of damage yep there's the fake out nice 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 this might just be a double up into that slot no nope, u-turn okay and we do survive so that is good, because now he's pretty much useless in the back. He doesn't do anything. Uh, we're going to have Incineroar coming in here. Okay. He's going to get those Intimidates off. Just fine. We get our Shelter here. Which is good. 
Um, so the question is... He never goes fake out, right? We just go coaching and we just body press Incineroar, I think. <clears throat> this will just get rid of Incineroar and then put us in a pretty good position as we won't have to worry about Incineroar. If all of his attackers are physical, then we're going to be in a pretty good place. Yeah, he doesn't go for the fake out, so we do get the coaching off. Going to make us plus uh, three now. And he goes for the U-turn, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Because we got so much damage in the back, too. With the uh, with the Landorus. That's why we have the Landorus on this team. Because it just gives us a lot more range. And he comes back out with the Zapdos, which is perfectly fine. Like I said, Zapdos doesn't really do too much here. Alright, so whatever this is, is just going to take a body press. I don't care that I got parting shotted. That's fine. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Let's see. And it's just Rillaboom. So Rillaboom's gonna, I think, take about 70%. 50%. So that's a bulkier Rillaboom. Okay. That is fine. Um, what we can do here is we can go out to Landorus. And then we can just protect Landorus. And then we can shelter. It makes him have to fake out this. If he doesn't fake it out, then you know, we're just in a good spot. Um, has to, I'm, I'm assuming this is Choice Scarf to Zapdos. I could be wrong. So it'll have Zapdos inf um, like have to choose something here. And yeah, he just goes Grassy Glide, so that is fine. So it's probably going to be a double up into that slot. Let's see. And Brave Bird. Yep. Perfect. So we just get another Shelter off. And now we're doing, we're doing pretty good. We're at plus five. <clears throat> um, just go for the Sludge Bomb here, and then we're just going to go for the Body Press into Zapdos. Because Rillaboom doesn't really do anything anymore, right? It just it just really doesn't. This might not even kill. Okay, it is gonna be enough to kill. And that's perfectly fine. All we need is is Gudra at the moment. <laughs> so um I'm not super super worried about it. And we'll bring out our mouse hold here. And we can just go for protect. Go for protect. And go for... Body press onto the Rillaboom, I think. Since he's, he's stuck into... Um, going for... The Brave Bird. Yeah, so he's just going to double into the mouse hold. That's fine. No biggie. Yep. We just gotta... Just, <laughs> just take everything out. So, boom. There goes Rillaboom. And Sin just gets one shot from this, too. So, um, if that's who he's bringing out, we can just go for... Super Fang and um, onto Zapdos. So that way Zapdos just kills itself and go for the Heavy Slam onto the Incineroar. Or the Body Press, sorry. Onto the Incineroar. That should just give us the win here. Um, he's probably, he might fake out and go for the Brave Bird. Yeah, he's just gonna do that. That's four damage. He goes for the Brave Bird, which is gonna put him down quite a bit. Yep. Just about dead. They're gonna get the Super Fang off. He's probably at one. <laughs> um, uh, we don't even have to protect. There's no, there's no reason to really protect. Because if Zapdos wants to go for the Brave Bird, it'll just knock itself out anyway. So what we'll do is we'll actually go for the Follow Me and the, the Body Press. <clears throat> just assuring that, you know, he knocks himself out. 
Not that it's a that big of a deal because he just can't do any damage. And then we're going to get the knockout here onto the Ensign and we'll see what the last Pokemon is. But it's going to take quite the Pokemon to, to essentially do, you know, like one shot, one shot us. There's not really any Pokemon that really can. So we, we will see. Um, my guess is that it's Raging Bolt. I could be wrong with that. It's actually Chen Pao. So yeah. Um, so we're doing all right. And he has not Terra'd yet. So I'm guessing this is going to be Terra Ghost. So I'm just going to go for the Heavy Slam. So that way we... Don't have to deal with that. We are minus one. Bit unfortunate. It is what it is. Okay, so it's just stellar, so it's perfectly fine. But we do the just in case, anyways. This is gonna be ice go press. So he's gonna go for flinches. I mean, I guess it's his his one out, right? That does literally no damage. Okay, yeah. Mm. So we just break the focus ash, and now we can just click body press forever. And he just has he has to get like 30 turns of flinches in a row. Let's see. Nope, can't even get one. So there we go. We're gonna take that game. As you can see, just just the power of iron leaves, bro. He just puts on so much pressure with the coaching and stuff. So um so yeah, let's uh let's get to the next one. Alright, here we go. So this is gonna be our second game, and I'm also gonna insert a game I did previously because I, I have one I really liked. Um, so I'm gonna put that in uh, along with these ones. So, uh, okay, the Ditto's a little scary here. I don't, I don't like the Ditto at all. Cause I want to go Mouse Ape. Yeah, I think I want to go Mouse Ape. And then what we can do is we can bring Latius in the back. And potentially Iron Leaves. I'm always really bad against Sableye, so Sableye might just uh just beat me. <laughs> I don't know. Um I could go quick guard stuff. But I can, um, I could do more with this, I think. I don't know, it's gonna be an interesting one. Because if he goes Annihilate Ditto and then he changes into my, my mouse hold, then he has, you know, the same thing I do. But if he's Choice Scarf, then he's stuck into beat up, right? So, okay, goes Sableye Annihilate. I believe Sableye also gets beat up, which is something to consider. Uh, so we're just going to go follow me, and then we're going to go bulk up, and then just kind of see what, what's going on here. I don't want any shenanigans happening. If he goes taunt or tries to will-o'-wisp, at least we'll be able to counteract that. Next turn with the beat up, terrifier, you know, rage fist. So he does go with a will-o'-wisp, so that's that's fine. We'll be able to go with the, uh, the fire terra. Rage Fist next turn. It'll also be interesting to see which one of us is faster, and I actually win that. So unless it's Speed Tide, then um, then I'm just faster here. So he just goes Drain Punch, which I think Muscle just survives from the burn. Yep. Okay. So what we can do now, of course, is just go Beat Up. We can Terra Fire, and we can Rage Fist into Annihilate. Now this just stops him from going for you know, pretty much everything. <laughs> I mean, he can't burn us. Uh, he can Encore us, I guess, which would be unfortunate. But um, we'll be able to get out of the Encore if we do get stuck into it. Let's see. He actually just sets up Reflect, so this Annihilate is... We're just gonna kill his Annihilate here. Which is good. And then we'll have Quick Guard next turn that we can just click. Be good. Of course, we crit. <laughs> yeah, of course. So it does two damage instead of the one. All right. So we are just straight up faster. So this annihilate is just gone. Yeah. All right. And we're we're now plus one. 
Plus we have, you know, our Rage Fist set up. We have Quick Guard set up. Um, we should be in a pretty good position. He won't be able to disable us next turn. Um, yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty decent here. And then we'll have Tailwind in the back if we end up needing it too. Oh, there's the Iron Leaves. The Sinistra. That is uh, not scary at all. We're just going to um, go for Quick Guard, just so we can't do anything, and we're just going to keep clicking Rage Fist. Quick Guard and Rage Fist into the Sinistra. So this should just be a one-hit knockout, even if it terrestrializes. We're plus one, plus we got the boosts. Um, we, we should be in a good position. It can Shadow Ball into the Iron Leaves is like the most it can do, but it most likely doesn't outspeed. Uh, he's actually going to get rid of Sableye here. Which is perfectly fine. And actually go into Ditto. Uh oh, okay. That's, uh, that should be fine. Should be perfectly fine here. And he is going to Terrasalize. Unless this is normal Terra. Which I would be, like, very confused by. Um. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, this should just be dead. Even though it's Water Terra. And then next turn, we can just kill his Annihilate by going for Ally Switch. Okay, it, it does live. It lives on one. It's perfectly fine. That gives us another boost into our Rage Fist. Um, actually, you know what we do? We always Leaf Blade here, right? And... I think we just Leaf Blade and do this. Because he doesn't get the boosts from the Rage Fist uh, from turning it to Ditto. And yep, so we just kill the Sinistra. And unless uh, we, we could lose the Speed Tie, I guess this could still be bad, but we are plus one. Uh. But I think it should be okay. Oh, he just goes Drain Punch. Yeah, no, this is this is perfectly fine then. Because all he has left is Sableye. And we're going to eat the berry. Because uh, we have Citrus Berry instead of the leftovers. <clears throat> um, it, it, I was trying to decide which one should have the Citrus Berry and which one shouldn't. <laughs> and uh, I kind of just decided that. That Annihilate gets the Citrus Berry, and we give the leftovers to the Gudra, I guess. Um, I guess it just gives Gudra more range, right? I don't know. That's the way I felt about it anyways. And yeah, we could just Quick Guard and go for this, and Sableye doesn't have any damage anyways. He could go for Foul Play, but he's just going to be slower than us anyway, so there we go. We're able to win both of those games. Like I said, I'm going to insert the last one is going to be um, a game that I already played that I really liked. Um, that was a really fun game and it really came down to, uh, to the last turn. So I'm going to insert that game and then I'll be back to do the outro. I think we just go Iron Leaves Annihilate. I don't think he has much against that. And then we can bring the Gooey Boy and Ogre Pond, I guess. Oh, that was so annoying. We should have won that game. Oh. Should have just went Earth Power, bro. If I just went Earth Power, it was just over. If I would have just protect that first turn. Well, we still lost the speed tie, so I guess it didn't matter, but... He didn't show Fake Out. He showed Flip Turn and Yawn. That's all he showed. And then... I mean, he has two moves. I'm thinking one of them is Water Pledge. It was not Water Pledge. So, yeah. What can you do? So sad. So, so sad. So, so sad. Alright, Snake, sounds good. What'd you get? Charmeleon? You got Charmeleon, bro? You gotta evolve it. Tarzar to go home. So 
Uh, he's probably gonna set up the sun. Hmm. What's he gonna do? I don't know what to do here. This is a really weird position. I'm gonna do this. And then I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna protect. anti our game. <laughs> okay. I feel way less pressure now. Low Chen, okay. I guess I could have just rain punched there though. and just get coaching. <clears throat> Boost this up. Is this just gonna be air slash? I wonder. Just Hellwind, okay. Um interesting. We're, sw we're switching the sides of them. Okay, that's good. Just in case he had um, Leech Seed. We don't want to be Leech Seeded, of course. Um, unfortunately, Air Slash is good against either one of these Pokemon. Oh, he has Bleak Wind Storm anyway. Okay. I forgot that. I, I was thinking, for some reason, I'm dumb. You know, well, that's that's not for some reason. I'm, ju I'm just dumb. Um, I was thinking... <laughs> That uh, only the other form got Blue Wind Storm. I don't know why I was thinking that. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna protect. Um, two turns of Tailwind remaining, and we're just gonna go for another coaching here. <sighs> we'll be able to drain punch this Wo Chen to gain all of our HP back. We gotta, we gotta time it right. <clears throat> Let's bleak wind, it won't kill. Hopefully we don't get speed drop, because we should be still faster than we can. We'll get the coaching off, yep. And then leech seed. Just take the death here, I think. We'll go coaching just in case, but I think we just take the death here. <clears throat> yeah, I got Piplup as well. So Piplup competitively out of that line is the best one. Okay, so he just he just protects. I don't care if he gets Tailwind. So that's why. Whatever. But now, now we're in danger here. Um. Dang, okay. faster. I don't think we are, but I think he just bleak wind storms again. Yeah. Yeah, that's GG. <clears throat> I played this one really badly. 
I forgot he had Bleak Wind Storm. I should have just I should have just Terrestrialized that first turn. Because I think he has Leech Seed. He's just going Ruination right now. That's what makes me think he has Leech Seed. The fact that he's going with that. Reggie Lucky's not scary though. For my Gudra. But once again, just Ruination Leech Seed is uh, very scary. And I'm playing I've been playing bad these last couple of matches. See if it is actually Leech Siege. Yep. Um. I think we could still win because we do so much damage to him. But we need to hit this spiky shield nice. Okay. Regieleki here. Nice. Crit didn't matter. But oh, this is gonna be Ruination. For sure. Okay, he missed. Okay. This is why I don't like I don't like slow Ogre Pond. I don't really like Ogre Pond in general. I'm gonna have to Horn Leech because if I was fast Ogre Pond here, then we just outspeed and we might be able to survive the turn. But because we're slow Ogre Pond, we never. I th he just attacks first, and then I think we're just we just lose. Oh, he hasn't even terra yet. If this is Water Terra, though, and he... But he never targets... Gudra, right? If he targets Gudra... Hear me out. The same. He does. He targets Gudra. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. He does hit the Ruination. I should have probably just body pressed here. But I got a plan now. See the vision. I think the crit loses it for us. Oh, Giga Drain though? Wait, hold on. Also, are we speed tied? Because I'm pretty sure that I won that speed tied before. Yeah, that crit mattered, I think. Though we would have died to the Giga Drain, we wouldn't have taken the extra damage on Gudra. Um Definitely life do. <laughs> Why we go first? Why we win the speed tie this time? <clears throat> okay. Because if he went a ruination, then that would have just been a wasted turn. Uh, we always just life do again.
Nice, he went first this time. We can body press next turn safely. Alright, I think we win. Well, once again, that crit was very unfortunate because I'm pretty sure we survived. Alright, we can body press here. And next turn, we can go for life do. The reason why we go for um, life 2 instead of just body press is because if he protects, then we just die. His, his best play here is to just protect and try to get a double protect. Let's go. <laughs> we ain't greedy around here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> This battle was close, though it shouldn't have been as close as it was. I played really bad at the beginning. Right. His best plays go for double protect. He does not go for it. Nice. Let's go! <laughs> uh. Gudra. He do be that boy. I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Yeah, it's really interesting how it came down to the Wo Qian versus that Gudra. Like, Gudra was just able to take out everything that he had and just heal it back up and just be super bulky. And it was a really fun match. I played terribly at the beginning as I commented in the actual video and... Uh, yeah, so I really enjoyed it. There's our final ranking for the day. We are actually undefeated with this team, which is kind of crazy. Iron Leaves is insane. If this doesn't tell you, then I don't know what will. We were top 500. I was top 500 the other day. Um, I didn't play for like two days, so that's why we dropped. But um, yeah, Iron Leaves is it. So, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys thumbs it up. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.